Hi, my name is Gordon from Gimeo, and today I'm going to show you how to create a professional HTML email signature for Outlook, Apple Mail, Gmail, Office 365, iPhones, iPads, um, pretty much most email clients um, completely free. So I'll show you how to create a completely free email signature that's not going to cost you a cent. I'll just give you a bit of background about me. I'm the co-founder of Gimeo, which is an email signature generator, and I basically make email signatures on a daily basis, so I see all the mistakes um, that people go through when they're making email signatures, hence uh, why I thought I'd make this video to help people out. So before we get started, I'll just run through a few of the mistakes um, that I see people make um, pretty much on a daily basis. The first one is that they will use an image um, for their email signature and use that image as a whole uh, email signature. So instead of just using you know, their face uh, as the image or their logo or whatever, they'll use the whole email signature as an image. Now that's a bad idea because a lot of email clients such as Outlook um, don't automatically download images that are in your email signature. So um, if you send this as an email signature to someone that's using Outlook, most likely it won't be downloaded and they won't even be able to see your name or your position, phone number or anything at all. They'll just see a, you know, a blank footer at the bottom of your email. And that obviously doesn't look professional and you don't want that. The second mistake I see is that people use um, Microsoft Word or you know, Google Docs to create their email signature or any other word processor. And um, the reason that's a bad idea is because email signatures, to be compatible, they need to include uh, some HTML code in there um, that is on top of the signature, so to speak. So you've got all your HTML code that makes the email signature, uh, but then there's um, you know additional code in there to make sure that it's compatible, to make sure that the signature is compatible with all the email clients that are out there, because they all use different HTML rendering engines. It's so, for example, it's uh, similar to when you open up a web page in Internet Explorer versus opening up a web page in Google Chrome. It always looks slightly different and that's because they use different HTML rendering engines. It's the same thing with email clients. So that's why it's important not to use a word processor um, to create your email signature because it won't have code in there um, that makes your signature more uh, you know, compatible. And the third mistake that I see people making when they're creating email signatures is they'll create their signature in the actual, um, you know, this is Gmail for example, in the actual text window here. So they'll, you know, get their image and then adjust it to be large or whatever, and then they'll change the font size here, make it bold, italic. That is uh, pretty much just as bad as creating it in a word processor for the exact same reasons. It doesn't have the HTML code that's needed for um, the signature to stay compatible between email clients. So to summarize all of this, um, the only way you're really going to get an email signature that's compatible across multiple email clients is if you code it manually in HTML and CSS. Um, and also you'll need to know obviously what additional code to put in the HTML in order to keep the signature um, compatible across uh, you know, uh, multiple email clients. Or you could just use a tool that's made for the job such as an email signature generator. There's lots of them out there. Um, but for this tutorial, um, I'll be looking at the one we own, um, which is Gimeo, and um, it's one of the more popular email signature generators. Okay, so to get started, the first thing you want to do is uh, go to the Gimeo website and then uh, head over to Email Signature Generator, and then click on New Signature. You'll notice that we've got about 45 templates available, which are all free, and you can um, use them and modify them as you wish. Uh, for this tutorial, we'll use uh, this template here and then apply it. And um, in the free version of the um, email signature generator, you are restricted to what you can edit. So for example, you can't edit the width of this separator and the gaps and colors and all that sort of stuff. Um, and also obviously the font colors you can't change and the font sizes and styles. Uh, but you can change it obviously when you're signed up to a plan or if you purchase a signature. So what we'll do now is we'll change some of the fields of the email signature, such as the name. And I'll fill in my own name, and then you click Done. And then the position, same thing. And I'll put a phone number in as well. And also fill in the email address. Basically, I'm just going through and filling in all the details. And I can also change the picture to be me or my logo if I wish. A 
can also crop the image however I like to but I won't um, but what I will do is I'll scale it down a little bit so it's not so big like so and I can also put a hyperlink onto that image just by filling out the details here then that way when someone receives their email signature and they click on my image um, they'll be able to go to the hyperlink which is wherever it's linked to and the same thing for the social icons as well if you click on them be able to put a hyperlink in and I'll also put a Twitter one in and since we don't have a LinkedIn icon I can just click on it and then from the drop down list select none and I can also put a custom social image in as well where I can just use my own social icon uh, just by uploading it here and then also giving it a hyperlink as well just like I normally would you can also get rid of this um, get your own signature message just click on it you can either sign up or purchase a signature or give us a rating um, or follow us or share us on um, our social um, channels and that will get rid of this message now as you can see I've pretty much got a professional email signature it's only taken me about five minutes to make just needed to change the name, position, um, upload my logo and a few other details put in a couple of hyperlinks here and there and I've pretty much ended up with a really good looking email signature very quickly since I'm installing it into Gmail I need to be careful of the signature size so Gmail doesn't like any email signatures that are over 10,000 characters since this one is just over 7,000 characters it's okay to install it into Gmail before I install my email signature I just want to show you another really powerful feature of Gimeo which separates it from all the other email signature generators and makes it really unique if you head over to the layout tab you can actually drag and drop um, all of these fields here and re to reorder them and you can also add additional columns um, and additional rows as well um, and you can also add additional text fields or image fields or social fields so you can completely make a com custom email signature really really quickly and really easily as well the other amazing thing as well is if you sign up to a plan and let's say you've got 10 staff members you can really quickly duplicate their signatures just by um, uh, toggling this section here where the field applies to so you can apply a field to this signature or all signatures in the group so for example if um, the, you know for this website field here this will be the same field for all signatures in my group so I'll just toggle it to all signatures in the group and that way any subsequent signatures that I make uh, will have that website field in it without me having to put it in manually for every single signature since I'm ready to install my signature now I'll click on the install your signature button and then click here to get your signature what this does is it copies your email signature to your clipboard so it's ready to, for pasting into your email client so this will work on Outlook, Apple Mail, Gmail, Thunderbird, Mailbird and lots of other uh, popular email clients as well if you do need help installing your signature you can just type um, the name of your email client and then it'll come up with installation instructions as well for this tutorial since we're using Gmail I'll just head over to Gmail and then click on the cog up the top here and then click settings scroll down until you get to signature and then click create new and type a name for your signature in this text box here uh, press ctrl V or command V if you're on a Mac and you'll see your email signature pop up then what you want to do is set your signature uh, as a default for new emails and also replies and then at the bottom click save changes and if you click on compose you'll be able to see your new email signature pops up um, in your compose window now this um, signature only took all of five minutes to create obviously uh, using the free uh, version of uh, Gimeo um, but like I said you've got over 45 templates available so um, chances are you'll find a template that's suitable for you and um, you know you'll be able to adapt it to your business if you don't though um, to purchase an email signature is really cheap and also you can subscribe to a plan if you've got more than one staff member and you need to um, you know create consistent email signatures throughout your team as well one thing to keep in mind when you're installing email signatures is to use Google Chrome because uh, what happens is with Internet Explorer and Safari it uh, doesn't copy HTML tables correctly so the email signature might not look correct if you copy it using Safari so as a general rule of thumb uh, use Google Chrome when copying your email signature from Gimeo and you shouldn't have any problems.
thanks very much for watching this tutorial on how to create your email signature. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe and leave a comment and we'll see you next time.